Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing a different video today and this is sort of brought on by my week that I just had. So I had a really off week. I was quite stressed at work, had some girl problems happening. I was having an off week and the whole week I was just craving sugar and craving chocolate like ridiculously the only thing that got me through was i made some little treats and i was like having a lot of them but it's okay because they are completely healthy so this video i'm going to show you guys my favorite sort of treats at the moment i'm just going to do two but if you really like this video let me know and i can do another video on some other treats i like making so basically on a sunday i will prep up a certain treat to have I'm such a big TV snacker, so <laughs> I'll get obsessed with this TV show and I have to have some treats. So it's just really good to have some healthy treats in your freezer or fridge. Also, before I show you guys my little treats, um, I've just had a lot of questions from girls lately being like, how do you stay so motivated all the time? How are you so consistent? And sort of last week um, made me think and made me realize the answer is, I'm not always consistent, I'm not always motivated. So last week I didn't work out as much as I usually would because I was sick, um, wasn't feeling it, and I was like, ugh, not doing it. And basically I've realized I probably have an off week every four to five weeks, I'll have an off week where I'm not motivated, I don't work out, um, all I crave is chocolate, but that's actually what keeps me motivated. So when I have an off week, I know I'm having an off week, Georgia, that's fine, um, but that keeps me motivated because I have an off week, I have a rest, I give my body a rest. And when I am not working out and eating, um, still healthy, but far too much, I sort of crave um, feeling um, how I used to feel. So yeah, I kind of need that off week to keep going. So if you're having an off week or an off month or anything like that, it's okay. Everyone has them. You just got to sort of think in your head. I always just go, okay, on the Monday, I'm going to start back. I'm going to get my shit together. And that's sort of what I do. But you sort of need those off weeks to know what it's like and how good you feel um, when you're not on those off weeks. Okay, so the first treat I'm gonna show you is, um, I'd call it a chocolate crackle. And it's so easy, it's so simple. If you have me on Instagram, you know how much I'm obsessed with this granola. I literally have it every single day. I remember ages ago when I first started sort of getting to fitness, I remember reading the sort of back of a granola and just thinking, oh my gosh, I can never have that. There's too much sugar, there's too much everything in it. So I was so happy when I found this. This is gluten-free, refined sugar-free, and paleo. And the ingredients are literally just like coconut flakes, almonds, cashews, buckwheat, macadamia, um, pecan pieces, coconut oil, and raw honey. And everything's organic. And if you look at the like macros or whatever, it's very high fat. And as you know, I love high fat things. But if you don't have this granola, just get whatever you have in your cupboard. So any mixed nuts, fruits, really anything. It's kind of like Rocky Road, like put anything in there. they're freezing and now I'm gonna make my protein balls um, with protein balls I there's not really a recipe I kind of just wing it and put in whatever I have in my cupboard I just make sure I have some sort of protein powder I put like nuts and like fruit if I want and then just something to combine it so like coconut oil or that rice malt syrup also just realized got chocolate on my shirt of course I did if you know me as a person that's just usual <laughs> Why are you so blind to see that 
the words we heard are you, you and me tell me why are we so blind to see that the words we heard are you, you and me